Greetings, Tinker students, and welcome to the Code Lab on Tinker Live. This is a show that helps students and teachers make and create with Tinker Code. I'm David Lockhart of Tinker. Now let's create together. And today we will actually be making share your message with code. So this is going to tie into our Code Jam um, activities of the week. And my guest, as always on Tuesdays, is Mr. Rizak. How are you, Mr. Rizak? Hi. I'm excited. I'm excited because I get to play around with one of my, uh, there's kind of a new little animation feature in Tinker that I'm not so sure all of our students know about. So I get to play with that. And it's Code Jam Week, which is also pretty exciting. Absolutely. So, very excited. All right. So what we are going to do today, can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to do today? Well, today I'm going to be doing the Hour of Code project, Change the World. We're going to change the world. Uh, and uh, the reason this is, this is kind of an open-ended project, uh, but it really ties in well. If you're doing Code Jam, uh, if you're in the summer uh, program and you're doing the Tinker Code Jam uh, contest and, and uh, creative projects, this is kind of uh, very similar. It's going to use a lot of the same tools in the drawing editor. Uh, so you'll learn a little bit, get to spin a little bit off of, uh, off of that if you want to dive into Code Jam. Awesome. And as always, we have a chat for you. So you can go to gotinker slash live chat. Super easy to chat. Now remember, I always like to remind folks here, don't use your real names here. We can't have that just for student privacy reasons. Um, but definitely, we especially want to see your projects as we kind of go through the week. And so you can post on there at any time. And really getting started on this project is super easy. You're just gonna go to go tinker slash change the world or change world, not change the world, change world. Um, go tinker slash change world and that will get you right into this project where you can get started. So Mr. Rizak, you are you ready to share your screen? I am ready. All right. Here we go, sharing. Sharing yeah. now, boom! Commence, commence sharing. It's all, it's all you now, friend, my friend. Great. Uh, so, like, uh, like Mr. Lockhart said, getting to the project is pretty easy. I think we shared a short link with you. Um, there's, you can of course just go to tinker.com/hourofcode to get there as well, uh, and then you'll see that. But I always will tell you, make sure you log in first. Uh, that way, you get a chance to save your project. If you're a teacher. Um, there is a link here. Uh, if you go to that short link, which I think I can, uh, I think I can try it. Um, go tink, G O T Y, go tinker. And you said it was change world. Oh no, there's an underscore in that project, but either way, that one works too. Um, there is a teacher guide, so I do like to just let them know uh, that there is a uh, a teacher guide. So for teachers that want to get into it, they can do it. And mine was change underscore world. Uh, that will take you to the teacher like our code page. And you can see the teacher notes, the standards, all that wonderful, uh, wonderful stuff. And then you can look at the teacher guide too. So uh, yeah, so that is that. And then you can go ahead and click on play now and you can start the project. So we can, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I actually did the project already. So I've, I've kind of got a, a, a final, you know, project that I'm done with. And so I'm gonna actually get to the, uh, I'm gonna introduce the project here, uh, but I've done mine in a, in a unique way. I've done mine that kind of utilizes the animation features, uh, the new animation features in kind of a new way. Uh, but before you, uh, I get to that part, there is a little example here. Uh, this project is all about basically, I would say if you are interested in doing some sort of public service announcement, that's what this project is. Change the world, tell us how you're gonna change the world. Uh, you can use Tinker to create a message that's creative and fun and exciting. Uh, and um, so that's really what it is. There's not much more than you get one page, you get an example of what a final project might look like. Uh, and so you can take a look at that. There's some messaging here. Be nice. That's a nice thing, way to change the world, right? Uh, and this one is a self-playing story. Now, I don't know where this project came from, <laughs> but it's more about, you know, being tolerant of other people and, and stuff like that. So, uh, so that's cool. Uh, but that's a sample project. That's basically, uh, you know, a, a slideshow. 
All right. The one I'm going to do is basically telling a message. So think of a, in, in my case, I'm thinking of a story uh, or a slogan from like a very popular, like environmental message uh, or something like that. Can you guys think of like a popular slogan for, uh, you know, environment and, and uh, Earth Day and, and those types of things? Uh, what can we do here that will help uh, to kind of get that message across? Uh, and in my case, I created this one. You may remember this message from from a long time ago. This was like if you were a uh, if you grew up in the '80s and you were an environmentalist, "Save the Whales" was like the big environmental message. Uh, and in fact, one of my favorite sci-fi movies was built off of that message. So, uh, so "Save the Whales" uh, that's my message and. To, to do that message, basically what I did is I, uh, I did a few different things here, uh, but I'm gonna go kind of deconstruct this for, for everybody to show you how I did it. And to do that, I'm actually going to delete my message and start from scratch there. So I'm gonna delete my actor. Uh, so I have a stage and that for that message, basically I just went in and changed the stage. We've done that many times. You guys can just go and add your background and look into the media library. Uh, but uh, what I do want to do is create an add an actor and just use the drawing tool here. And what's cool about our drawing tool, I usually like to zoom out just so I know exactly how much space I'm taking up, uh, is that you can use your paintbrush tool and then you can create a message and then duplicate your, your uh, costumes to create. I don't know if you're familiar with the term um, rotoscoping, but that's basically what we want to do here. Uh, we want to rotoscope. Uh, our message, so it creates this kind of cool effect. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, and I'm, I'm using my, my finger mouse, so this is gonna be really great. Uh, but we're going to save the, oh, and look, I put on my crisscross, so I, um, my crisscross tool, so I know how my words are gonna show up here in this particular uh, space. Save the whales. All right, and a big exclamation point. Hey, yes, you are correct in the chat. <laughs> My favorite sci-fi movie is Star Trek IV. <laughs> you, you win, I don't know what you win, but <laughs> you got it. Uh, so, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically going to, I'm going to add a costume uh, here, or I'm gonna duplicate uh, this costume here. And from there, when you duplicate, uh, you basically <clears throat> can now kind of draw over what you previously had, uh, and uh, it will start to kind of create this uh, this rotoscoping effect. Uh, and then I can I can choose a different color, uh, and I can, uh, in fact, what I might do here is increase my uh, transparency a little bit more, so it's a little bit more um, full and colorful. Uh, but thank you. You got it right there. Star Trek for, <clears throat> and like this is built in. This used to not be built into the drawing tool, but now that it is, it gives you this kind of opportunity to kind of create this rotoscoping um, uh, effect, which I like. So we'll do that. And you have to watch me. I could do this with a different a character or an actor, but I'm just going to do this a few times so we can kind of get the idea um, and then kind of keep uh, along those lines duplicating what uh, what we did before. Um, so let me go back there. So this is what the final kind of product looks like, and I'm going to just uh, open up that real quick so you can see that. Uh, right there, because I've jumped ahead a little. Um, but then, you know, I'm just keeping the same idea here. I'm just adding costumes uh, or, you know, duplicating costumes. And then on top of that, adding a different, choosing a different color. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom out again. And again, here I go, save. And then I'm going to stop at this one. Blues are good because I'm going against a blue background, right? I have my ocean background. 
so I want to do stuff that's going to uh, show up against that. This is a dark blue. I'm not worried about it. But reds, whites, those types of things. Hey, I missed the A. That's a good question. How do I publish my Tinker Code Jam project? Uh, I can get to that in a moment. So let me, there's a little button up here where you can now test your animation. So if you do your little rotoscope and then you hit play, you can run through your animation. Awesome. And see how that's going to look. Now you can basically play through all of your costumes uh, and keep hitting that duplicate button if you want to add to that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just save that for a moment. Uh, I'm going to go back and hit stop right there. So let's pause. All right, let's pause on that because uh, I do like this feature a lot. Uh, and so I have my message. One of the things I did add to this project was the humpback whale. Uh, and so, yeah, you, you're right on the, on the money there when it comes to uh, um, how did I get that Exactly. So to add that to my project, I went to Google Images and did a nice little search. And this is one of my great, uh, one of my great tips about how to get great images in Google. Uh, if you go to Google Images and you're looking for big, transparent images, you really want to look for transparent images. Those are the ones that are all cut out along the edges, uh, and you'll see the checker marks in the background, uh, meaning that that has no background. It's transparent. Uh, so when I find that, I just do a little save as, or I just drag it to my desktop, uh, and I can do that on, on my Mac, uh, and then go back to my project and upload that actor. I can add an actor uh, as an upload. So I can go and upload that actor here. It's going to choose my humpback whale, and there we go. Now I've got an actor. Now it's in the front, and I don't want him to be in the front. We also have this great uh, little option here uh, where I can go and tell him to go back just a little bit and go big, hit play. And I've got my little rotoscoped message going on here, which is kind of cool. Uh, hit stop. Uh, so that's my message there. Now, what can you do there uh, to kind of, uh, if you want to use this tool in a different way to kind of create your avatar for your code jam, same idea, basically. And, and for that, um, I can open up a new uh, window, uh, a new project. By the way, blank project link, tinker.com slash IDE slash V3. That's a, a quick tip for you. Uh, so here I can start, get rid of that guy. We're going to trash him. Um, same idea here, right? I've started with a blank project, but this time I want to create a, a let's say, an, a, an animal or an animated something. Uh, I'm actually going to go and see if I have a drawing that I already started. And maybe I can work with that uh, because, uh, or I can just do stick man because uh, I got a lot of stick man. Uh, but uh, let me see what I, let me see what I have. I'm drawing back. stick man as you're doing this. So that... oh, you do, you already have a stick man. Uh, well, that's good. Well, I'm drawing it. Uh, things all of a sudden slowed down over here, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on too at the same time. <laughs> understood, understood. Um, well, let's uh, let's do this this basic fish, okay? Let's say that's this guy is going to be. Oh, it looks like we made some new updates to uh, to things. So I like the ocean, man. I I must use the ocean on a lot of my uh, my example projects. So here's my my avatar, my avatar, or my my guy that I want to. Uh, uh, I want to animate. <clears throat> and so in this, again, um, right now, if I animate him, he's got nothing, right? Uh, but what I can do is I can go ahead and duplicate that actor right there. In my duplication, here's a little trick, right? I can just change the color and I'm going to make him like a super rainbow. Um, let me use my bucket tool, fill. Um, well, that's not very dramatic. Let's go to pink. There you go. So now I got a pink, pink fish, animated pink fish guy. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate again and just keep changing the colors. We're going to make like a flashing, uh, flashing colorful fish uh, here. And keep going. Duplicate. Let's do this. Uh, 
what are all the colors we've got? Red, yellow, pink isn't really part of the rainbow, but oh well, um, we'll go back to green. And, uh, and uh, red, fill. And so for those of you guys who always wanted to know, like how do we create like flashy type of animations, you can use the same trick uh, and you can just keep adding costumes. Like you can just keep going and going and going. Uh, and you, you can create these kind of rotating um, flashing animations. Uh, and I just need a, a better, and then you can, you can do a dropper here too and just pick a totally, totally different color um, if you like different types of green. There you go. All right. So I'm gonna stop there, right? So I've got a bunch and I'm gonna go ahead and test this, see what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like this. I like this. Uh, it's kind of flashy. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. And I'm gonna save that actor uh, to go back. So again, I'm creating kind of a little avatar-y guy here. Um, all right, here we go. And I wanna make sure this guy is in the front. And... So a good question from the chat, what is yep. a flash animation? What is a flash animation? It's not what you think when you think of flash, if you're thinking of like the code term, um, flash used to be something that, uh, you know, a um, program that people used to create animations on the web. So it's not what I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, when I'm talking about just a f flashy style of animation, um, it's basically where things where colors change really fast. Uh, so, you know, it can go from red, you know, and we can rotate through all these different colors and that looks really cool. Uh, so we can do that uh, to make that, uh, to make that really flashy and, and work, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. Just want to test that real quick. All right, so I need some code. Uh, and one of my bits of code here uh, needs to start. And I need to animate this guy because I want to cycle through his costumes. So what should I do if I want to have him uh, on a loop forever? What block should I use? Maybe a forever loop? Hey. <laughs> now we're, we're really cooking with gas. <laughs> And those fun. and those of you who are looking as far as how to submit um, our friend, our friend Maddie, who's helping us out in the chat, she actually posted the link to submit to Code Jam um, in the chat as well. All right, let me punch up that code real quick. So this is like an, a basic great animo animation that you can do uh, where you're just switching costumes over and over and over. And the weight block's important because if you've ever done stop motion, uh, this is like a frame rate. So you're basically telling your animation how fast you want to cycle through your animation. Um, oh, that's why it's super big. I was like, where did it go? Uh, but let me go ahead and find the- That's uh, a really big fish. Isn't it a really big fish? I got to find the corner to this guy. There we go. I was like, when I, for a minute there, I was like, all right, he's not there. Where should I- uh, <laughs> Now, what you could do as well is if you can't find the corner, you could go up to that debugger and adjust his size. You would uh, like that feature, don't you? Well, <laughs> I've had, I've, well, I'm writing, I'm writing stuff for teachers now, and I have a place where I uh, talk about the debugger in it, and I wanted to make sure I knew what it did. So, I, it's something new that I've learned. So, yeah, you can go up here. And then uh, you can change the part, the properties on the app, yep. correct? Yep. Uh, height, weight, that type of thing. So it was probably like 2200 or something like that. Visibility. Uh, one that's always a good one is to change that visibility. And if you're using hide and show blocks and you want to like, and one hides and you can't mess with it when it's on stop. So that's always a good one to use in that debugger as well. So this is, again, not a very great drawing. I'm not very good drawing on a mouse pad. I'm sure our, our students are much better. You're much uh, better than I am. <laughs> but now I can cycle through that really fast. And you see what I talk about when I, when I say it's a flash animation? Uh, it's kind of really cool, right? 
uh, and that just keeps going uh, and going and going and going. So, so that would be uh, one way to create uh, um, your avatar using this kind of rotoscoping feature within the drawing editor. Uh, did you want to show off a couple of tips on your own? Uh, I can switch over and show what I did. It's kind of the same kind of principle that I went. And when you look at creating an avatar, I'm not really good at drawing. And so you can kind of see mine here. It's kind yes. of, and if you want to um, unshare your screen, that, that'd be great real quick. Um, and so you'll see here that I kind of did the same kind of principles that Mr. Rezac did is I took that actor and I drew this actor out where I came in here and I, uh, and I'll show you that what, what it looks like in the editor is you draw it out in a really kind of easy way to understand that flash animation. Stick figures are actually like really easy to understand it just because the whole principle of it is, is that you go and you duplicate that actor and then you change something. And so if I go and like duplicate this actor and then I use the eraser over here and I erase his arms and his legs, I can change that what he looks. And then I can come down here and he can actually do a split as well. And my stick figures are always great on these. Mm -hmm. And so you come back over and really the code here is actually fairly simple. So he's doing his little, uh, here, we'll punch this up so you can see it real, we'll, we'll punch it up the full screen real quick. So you can see it. He's doing his little dance and he's saying, hello, I like hamburgers. Um, but really the coding here is actually fairly simple because the idea is that you when you're doing that animation, you're creating new costumes. And again, it's that forever loop. You have that next costume where he's constantly rotating through the costumes and you could tweak that to have a costume come up when you want and not necessarily just rotate through next costumes. Um, he's got a weight block, so he's not, and, and what I noticed too with this one is that if I didn't put that weight block in there, you can't even see the animation because it's going so fast. And then all I did was add these, these bubble blocks, which I really like these kind of bigger bubble blocks. You, you can do really simple ones where you just do the message, but the, adding this kind of speech bubble block lets me control everything where I can control the font it comes up in, the text it comes up in, the color of the background, what kind of style it is. You could actually switch this over to where it's like down at the bottom as well. Um, and so it's a really great way to really kind of tell stories and how animate characters and avatars, those bubble blocks and they're under looks are super, super simple to use. And so mine's not anything grand. Yours is always, you've got these grand ones always saved with the fish and everything else in your backpack. Mine is just the bad stick figures. If you want to send it back to me, I'll just clarify something real quick. Yep, I can do that. You sharing your screen? Hang on, let's do it. Uh, not that one. Let's do that one. You ready? I'm good. Boom, back to you. So I'm back in the drawing editor. I just want to make sure everyone sees this. Um, so what I did, uh, just to make sure things were a little, uh, I think, I don't know, just clearer, uh, is, and I'm going to just delete this real quick uh, when you're making your your avatar or your your message or whatever um, i created a very very thin opacity message here uh, you can see that i'm on the paint tool i went down to like eight percent something that's almost hard to see uh, and i'm just going to write something real easy right now that says hi um, so this way i'll color that in uh, when I duplicate up here, uh, you see that message, it's very thin, right? Now what I can do is I can change the color uh, and I can bring up that opacity. You're not gonna see what's underneath there very, very easily at all. Uh, so now when I kind of do my little rotoscope message, um, it'll, it'll be like my little, I get to trace over it. And that's what rotoscoping is basically. You're, you're doing almost a tracing uh, over uh, the original, um, uh, you know, the original thing. So then I, I can copy the first one again, same thing. Uh, and bring that one back up. I've kind of got my, my thing to trace, change the color. And now here I go again. And now I can kind of create that message. I don't, I could stay, I could stay in one color. I don't know changing color um, but here I go there and keep I'm basically just continuing to add um, uh, add or duplicate 
the first costume. I want to know what's up with the paint and with the uh, drawing in the bottom corner of the right-handed H. Or the right-handed, uh, the like, exclamation. Oh, it's an exclamation point. Duh. It's an exclamation point. <laughs> I was thinking it was an A. <laughs> Sorry. No, it was two H's. Fine. Sorry. I and then exclamation. Gotcha. Right? Gotcha. Uh, and then you can test your message here, right? And so the the uh, the one I'm tracing over is very 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 faint. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's how to use this kind of rotoscoping feature in uh, in Tinker. It's another way to do uh, animation again. That's uh, there's like three or four or five different ways now that you can do animation in Tinker, and this is uh, uh, just another great great uh, great way to do that. Absolutely. You ready to see? I, can, I think we've kind of answered the questions, but we'll flip over to the question page real quick and see. And you can sure. see my bad Stickman project if you want to quit sharing. Okay. I think if there's any other questions, definitely post those in the chat as we kind of go through these and, and we'll kind of catch those the next day if we can. Yep. But really when you look at kind of where we want to go next is you can actually never miss a show by adding a, uh, Code Lab to the calendar. If you go to go tinker slash add Code Lab, it'll add to almost any calendar program that you have, no matter if it's Google or Microsoft, does not really matter. And our next show is going to be Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And you will have to help me with what the t the topic of this show is. I'm not really sure. Um, well, and if tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. We, we have a show. Recycling. We're we have a show tomorrow. We're doing responsible consumption uh, and recycling projects. Is that one of, that's one of our UN projects, right? One of the UN projects. I love those projects that you go and you have them that align with the UN sustainable development goals. It's always good to have stuff that shows kids kind of how they can branch out in the world. Agreed. Yeah. So we'll switch over and say um, that's going to do it for us today on Code Lab. Thanks again, Mr. Rezac, for being the always Tuesday guest. And Thank you in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. And remember, let's create to Tinker. Let's create together at Tinker.com and share those projects with us in the chat. We definitely want to see those. Bye. Bye. Bye.